Welcome to USA Breaking News Today. Please subscribe and click notification box to get all breaking news alert. Breaking news today. U.S. change military drill plan hours after North Korea threatened summit withdrawal. A U.S. B-52 strategic bomber may not take part in ongoing South Korean US military air drills according to a source, after North Korea cancelled bilateral talks with South Korea and threatened to cancel its upcoming summit with Donald Trump in June. The Thunder military exercise began on Friday and is scheduled to continue for two weeks. It will include around 100 aircraft, including F-15KS, F-16S, and F-22 radar evading fighter jets. The military drill is being carried out by the U.S. 7th Air Force and South Korea's Air Force Operations Command. A source said, in the training, the U.S. F-22 stealth fighters have already participated, while the B-52 has yet to join. It appears that the B-52 may not attend the exercise, which runs through May 25. The announcement was made shortly after a phone call between North and South Korea about the cancelled summit. North Korea has repeatedly expressed its concern over the deployment of B-52 bombers over the Korean Peninsula. The country's Korean Central News Agency stated the drills were a rehearsal for invasion, and deemed them a provocation. The insular nation suspended talks with South Korea which were due to take place on Wednesday due to the joint military drill, and has threatened to cancel the planned summit between Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump on June 12 in Singapore. Commenting on the situation, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said, We are aware of the South Korean media report. The United States will look at what North Korea has said independently, and continue to coordinate closely with our allies. South Korea's Defense Minister Song Young Moo is now set to hold an emergency meeting with General Vincent Brooks, commander of U.S. forces in Korea, to discuss the unexpected move from the Hermit Kingdom. There are fears that North Korea's protest could jeopardize ongoing peace negotiations established following the landmark inter-Korea summit between Kim Jong-un and South Korea President Moon Jae-in in April. The West is also concerned the North may use the inter-Korean declaration to oppose South Korea and the US joint military drills, which form a central part of the their defense procedures. Anthony Ruffiero, a senior fellow at the Foundation for Defense of Democracies, said, North Korea's actions today are not surprising. They come straight from the Kim Jong il playbook on negotiations, raise expectations of a diplomatic breakthrough, cancel or suggest Pyongyang might cancel the meeting and then push for more concessions to have the meeting. South Korea's Ministry of Unification said that North Korea's decision to suspend a ministerial level inter Korean meeting was regrettable and not in line with the historic declaration announced following the summit in April. Ministry spokesman Baek Tae-hyun said, North Korea's decision to unilaterally postpone high-level talks between the two Koreas citing an annual joint air drill between South Korea and the United States is not in line with the spirit of the Panmunjom Declaration and is regrettable. South Korea's National Security Office Chief Chung E. Ui Yong also said in early March after meeting Kim Jong-un, that the North Korean leader understood that routine joint military exercises between South Korea and the United States would continue in spite of a warming of ties. This was regarded as a significant concession by North Korea, but Pyongyang never publicly withdrew its opposition to the drills. Thanks for watch please share like comment this video and subscribe channel for latest news.